the master of colour in black and white. Marc Chagall's rich palette has always captured the attention of critics and art lovers. But this exhibition starts with his experiments in light and shadow. Grey tones, rich blacks and translucent whites, with his pair of bêtes fantastiques, the Franco-Russian artist even explored one of his favourite themes, magical beasts, in monochrome. What's important is how he identifies with migration, as if the beast is a wandering Jew travelling across the land. The exhibition focuses on Chagall's work after he returned from the United States. As a Jew, he'd had to flee France during World War II. Back on French soil, he revisited black and white. As he was an artist who was continuously doubting every evening of what he was thinking or thinking of having achieved in the morning, uh, he, was, he was in a continuous evolvement, in a continuous reprocessing uh, of, of the work. Experiments with monochrome led him back to colour and he learned new techniques in the sunny south of France. In 1950, Chagall bought a house near Vence where he started ceramics and pottery. Two years later, he met Valentina Brodsky. His first wife having passed away, Chagall married Valentina, and their love is reflected in vivid colors and shapes. In the second half of his life, Chagall's colors were explosive because he had moved to the south of France and rediscovered a new lease of life. He was a painter who liked to watch and touch everything around him. This approach to life enriched his painting. Couples in love, beaches, bouquets of flowers and comic characters. The works are an ode to joy on display until March 2019 at the Hôtel de Comment Museum in Aix-en-Provence.